today we are going to be testing 10 different science experiments from the internet and we're going to see if they are real or fake. Let's watch first experiment. Instant water freezing. That looks cool. Yeah. I'm excited to see this one. It looks so satisfying. It's like... Ooh, I hope it's gonna work. I say. hope. So we've prepared the water bottles and they've been in the freezer for about two and a half hours and now it's time to take them out. So Don't shake. shake. Slowly, gently take them out of the freezer. I don't think it's gonna work. Moment of truth! Nothing is happening! I think they're not ready, so let's put it back in the freezer. Get back to this experiment a bit later. Fingers crossed it's gonna work. Experiment number two, egg in the bottle. Okay, let's watch. Think it's gonna work? Actually, yeah. I don't think it. For this experiment, we will need glass bottle, paper, matches, and egg. Cleaning your egg. We're gonna swirl it around. For this experiment, you need adult supervision. You can't do it by yourself. Let's light up the match. You can do it. Yes. Ooh. Let's light the paper. Put in the glass, Alex. Put the egg on. It's soaking I'm in. scared! Oh, it's wow. soaking in! Look! Oh no, it's gonna explode, guys! It's gonna explode! No way! It's going slowly! Boom! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Attempt number two. Light the fire! Oh no! Oh, that was quick! <laughs> the yolk just <laughs> popped in! I think if you put the egg the other way around, it will work better. Let's try it out. Okay. Okay, that's your way. Let's see. Oh, it's going in, it's going in. Oh, no, it's still the same action. <laughs> it works because there is less air pressure inside the bottle. The higher air pressure outside the bottle pushes the egg into the bottle. Next, the spoon and battery experiment. Let's watch. No way, no way, it's not gonna work. But we are here to find out. We need four spoons, four batteries, and 10p coins. Let's place the spoons. Yes, put the batteries on. Oh, okay, Alex. So <laughs> okay. It doesn't Moment work. of truth. No! This one is a fail! Next is fire on water experiment. Ooh. And then light it up. Ooh. 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 That looks fun. So this is what we need. Water, glass, yeah. nail polish, pencil and a lighter. So let's first pour the water. Open it. Nail polish. Look at this. Bang. Let's give a little shake. Let's pour it in the water. Oh, it's sinking. Because it's water. heavier than water. There's still something. We got something. Try quickly to light it up. What? It's not the real thing. It's not lighting up. I thought it's going to work. Same. So our nail polish is heavier than water, so it sank. It's failed. This is my assistant, and this is the calcium carbide and water experiment. When calcium carbide is reacted to water, it creates acetylene gas, which is highly flammable and toxic. Do not try this at home. This is how it looks. So it's basically like a rock. Gaps. Look. That's the bubbles, and yeah. inside is a gas. Yeah. 
the water will not help as well. Wait, look how black that thing is. <laughs> Acetylene is used in welding and cutting processes. Now we're going back to the instant water freeze experiment. The bottles have been in the freezer for about four hours and it's time to take them out. Yeah, be careful. Don't shake it, gentle, gentle. Let's check it out. Doesn't work. Oh yeah, this bottle is more like water. Yeah, there's no ice inside, so this I'm is my hit wall. It. Oh, there is! Oh, there is! Yeah! So it worked because the water has been super cold below its freezing point. It just needs a little kick to speed up crystallization process. Next we wanted to do an experiment where Ladybird doesn't cross the lines, but the hunt for the Ladybird went wrong. Is there any Ladybird? Ew! This is a to be! Look how far we came. Our house is over there and still nothing. What are you holding there? Snail, it's cute. But we need a ladybird, not a snail. Next, hot versus cold water experiment. Okay, let's see the video. Ooh. Mm. Oh, upside down. What's gonna happen? It might mix or it might not. It might mix or it might not. Oh, that looks hard. Oh. <gasps> It did it's not, not mix. mix, yeah. Another way around now. What do you think? Oh, you think it will well mix. You think? Uh, yeah, yeah. look. Straight away it mixed. Yeah. First, we're gonna pour the hot water in one glass. Oh. In the other one, we're gonna pour cold water. <gasps> That's orange. It's alright. I said orange, red. One, two, three. There you go. Gently, gently, mixing, mixing. Oh, now is the scary part. <laughs> now we're gonna try to put card on top of the hot water. Please don't say. Oh. Spill a bit. That's okay. You're gonna place it on top. And then you take the card out. Ah. Moment of truth. <gasps> it works! Yeah, but it's not mixing! Look! How cool! Wow! I'm letting go. I'm not holding it anymore. Yeah, go <laughs> Now we're gonna try it the other way around. The cold water goes on top. Now we're gonna take, again, card. Oh! oh. Leaking! Bit more, bit more, bit more. Okay, let's see. It should mix. Yeah. Yes! Straight away. It worked because cold water is heavier than hot water. Next, walking on eggs. Oh. Oh. Are those eggs real? I think so. But wow. she's walking very slowly. Are we ready to try this out? Yes. Yeah. So let's go outside for this one. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. We're doing a challenge. Whoever can fling their flip flops the furthest doesn't get to go first, but the person who got it the least furthest has to step on the eggs first. I'll go first. Ooh, I think yeah. <laughs> Alex, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you think it's gonna work? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm pretty sure. So just gentle. <laughs> What's that sound? It's like, yeah. Okay. You're walking good. on the eggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No way! I hear him like. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. Do I do it like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it boiled? No, it's not boiled. Yeah. When the moment it you creaks. You can do it. My. Oh. 
You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you're doing it. Can you see? You're walking on the eggs. It feels so weird. One of them cracked. One of them cracked. <gasps> and yeah, watch me. Everyone, look at this. Crack. Oh, yeah, yes. it did crack. Look, <laughs> Ma, Daddy Otto. Daddy. Daddy. Oh no. You ready? <laughs> no. no. Gentle. Ah. The second step will be quiet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Daddy, I think you're too heavy. No. You can't walk on eggs without breaking them. If you distribute your weight carefully, the egg's unique shape gives it tremendous strength. Can I break an egg? Using my palm or my hand. <laughs> I can't do it. Next, the waterizing experiment. Let's watch the video. Water, candle. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna use the food coloring. Interesting. Similar like the egg one where it sucks it in. But this time it sucks the water up. So we're gonna put the candle in the middle of the thing and then light it up. Let's place it in the water. Look at that noise when you let go. Now put it up. Can you put see? it up. Listen to it. So you got sucked up the candle. That's all. The fire wasn't enough with the candle, so we're gonna put some matches in it. Yeah, let's try. Ooh. Let's see. That actually did suck it up though. See? It did! Yes! Look at it! When the oxygen is depleted, the candle goes out and the air cools. The volume of the air decreases and the water rises. Next, floating smoke experiment. Ready to watch? Light it up. Ooh, and now magic happens. Easy. In a tube. I see. Wow. I think it's gonna work to be honest. Let's add some matches. And now you have to twist the top bit off to like after the match. Moment of truth. Okay, it's burning. Oh, it's coming out. Pick it up. Barely. A little bit of smoke. Yeah, <laughs> What was that? It popped. Oh no, it is working. Don't breathe, don't breathe. Yeah! Going to my hand. Alex! Floating smoke. That's really cool. Usually we see smoke rising up, but when the smoke is traveling down the tube, it will cool off, causing it to sink to the floor. Because cool off smoke is actually heavier than air. We saved the best till last imploding can experiment. Add about a tablespoon of the water to an aluminum can and then place this can on a hot plate. Oh. Turn the hot plate on hot and wait for steam to be pouring out the top. At this point, your can is ready to be imploded. Remove the can from the hot plate using tongs and then in one motion, pour out the rest of the fluid and submerge the top of the can in the ice water. Did you see? Yeah. Boom! Okay, we are ready. We, need, we still need ice. Can you get oh, ice? Get the ah. oh, Let's put some ice. Oh, let's get more, let's get more. <laughs> Take an empty can. Let's fill in a little bit of water. Place the can on top. We need to wait when the steam comes out, it's ready. Boom! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's ready, it's ready. Oh. Oh. I'll do a very 
we got Finn one. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Go. Go. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Right now. <laughs> you should have kept it longer. Try the pink can. Alex, there is no water. The walls of the can suddenly implode because the atmospheric pressure is greater than the can's interior pressure. Comment down below which science experiment did you like the most. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.